Fair use. Black Mill Advice TV. We in the building. Let's go. Rainbow TV. Ladies, any man who asks you this, what is your body count? Any man who asks you this is firstly broke, secondly, they're insecure. Thirdly, they are manipulative because they want to get to know how many people you've slept with so that they can use it as leverage to either treat you as cheap or treat you as a less than or downplay your value. Okay, the only reason men ask this is to scale you and weigh your value and only broke men ask that. Okay. Are you really serious, fam? <laughs> this is Blackmail Advice TV. Make sure you get the likes up on the video. You already don't know what it is. Yeah, we back again. Continuing on with our exploration in the modern woman. Not only the modern woman, but also the modern man. So what do we got here today? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. He's broke, manipulative, and insecure, if he asks you this. Oh, yeah. You're definitely broke if you ask any woman this. What's going on, Corey KC Motorsports? See you in the building. What's going on? Shamai man. Chef. What's going on, Sam? Let's get right to it, fam. Let's get right to this thing. You already done know what it is. Let's go. Let's react to this. Ladies, any man who asks you this, what is your body count? Any man who asks you this is firstly broke, secondly, they're insecure, thirdly, they are manipulative because they want to get to know how many people you've slept with so that they can use it as leverage to either treat you as cheap or treat you as a less than or downplay your value. Are you serious, fam? <laughs> are you really serious? It sounds to me like you're the one that's being manipulative. Sounds like you're the one that's downplaying your own value. So if a guy asks a woman, what's her body count? You're letting women know basically that they just need to hide the information. But I thought you ladies were liberated. I thought you, I thought y'all was free. Right? I mean, if you're free and you're living your best life now, why do you hide that information? You should be proud of that information. I mean, if you're sexually liberated and you're able to go out here and just get with whoever you want to get with, then by all means, you should be proud of your body count. I mean, wouldn't you agree? Right? Again, and if you're joining in the show, make sure you get the likes up on the video. We're dealing with he's broke, manipulative, and insecure if he asks you this. <laughs> Again, this is the modern woman. Um, this is their mindset. I mean, look at her nails, fam. <laughs> you see that mess? Let me see if I can if I can open up the screen real fast. Let me. I'm not sure if I could do this. Hold on a second. This is crazy, fam. This woman nails. What in the world is going on? You, you see that? I can't believe this, man. That, that's the modern woman for you, man. I, I just don't get it, bro. But anyway, let's, let's just hear what she has to say. We don't want to rush to no judgment. Okay, the only reason men ask this is to scale you and weigh your value. Really? And only broke men ask that. Okay. Oh, so if he asks that, that means that he's broke. Okay, I get it. <laughs> so if a man asks a woman, excuse me, sister, what's your body count? Oh, don't, don't, don't tell him he's broke. <laughs> he's broke. He don't got no money. Really? <laughs> but I thought y'all proud. I thought... I thought that y'all living y'all best life, y'all free, y'all could do what y'all want to do. I mean, let me let me ask you a question. Are you ashamed to tell me your body count? Because if you're if you're ashamed, listen, listen, listen. This is how you get them, brothers. If you're ashamed 
to let me know your real body count, if you're ashamed, that means that you know that it's wrong. You see that? See, the reason why modern women literally cringe when they hear what's your body count is because they know that deep down inside, they're not supposed to be out here sleeping around with everybody. They know that. And they know it brings down their value. They knows that. They know it. But they want to be proud and arrogant and act like it's, they're, they're unbothered by this. But let's, let's listen again. Okay. Unless the person is a killer, I don't see how many body counts, da, 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 da. Men who ask this are broke, manipulative, insecure. And insecure? Why would I be insecure? <laughs> so, so let me get this straight. I, should, may as, I may as well just go get me a porn star, right? <laughs> I'm, I may as well just go out there, find me a porn star and make her a wife, <laughs> right? Because you're, you're saying I'm insecure if I want to find out the value of this woman. <laughs> you know what I mean? I seen a clip on TikTok. It was very, very interesting. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to use the talking points and act like I did it. So I'm going to basically uh, let you know that I saw this particular video on TikTok. I'm going to do a review on that one as well. But uh, it was with this soldier guy. And he said something that's very, very interesting. I think it was brilliant. Um, I never heard nobody say it like that, but it's really true when you really think about it. Um, it goes something a little like this. Um, modern women are always concerned about our future or their future if they get with a man. In other words, if they get with a man today, they're concerned about what the future would be like with this man long term? Would he have money? Will he be able to provide? Would he be able to do this and that and all this other stuff? But when it comes to us brothers, when we look at a woman, we want to know about her past. We don't want, we don't, we're not worried about the future. We want to know about her past, where she came from. What's her body count? Is she damaged? What's really going on with her? You understand? We're concerned with her past, her history, where, where she came from. You know what I mean? Whereas women are concerned about the future in terms of with a man, us brothers are concerned about a woman's past. And anytime we try to find out about a woman's past, they get in their feelings. You see, when women talk to us, they always want to know about future tense. Where do you see yourself in five years? What kind of business plans do you got? How much money you make? Well, I make this amount. Well, are you going to do better? Because, you know, if I'm going to be your wife, I want to know that you're going to be able to do this and do that. And it's, everything is in the future. But when we see a woman, we're concerned with, we're not even concerned about the future. Because we know what the future is going to be like if we know what her history is like. You see that? Matter of fact, there will be no future if we know what her past is like. Because once we get the information we need to know, we ain't going to put no investment into this woman. We're not going to do it. You understand? Shout out to KC Motorsports for the $40 super chat. He said, congratulations on the 40K subs. Keep doing the work. Keep, keep doing the most highs work. You are appreciated. Appreciate that, fam. So as men, when we meet women, we want to know about their past. We want to know about, look, what's your body count? What it's looking like? What, what you really got going on? Do you got kids? How many baby daddies you have? Have you ever been abused uh, sexually? What was good? We want to know this because once we know about your past, we already done know what the future going to be like. Because when you get with a woman that have a crazy past, her history, it's like it's it's messy. You already done know y'all not going to have much of a future. So when you talk to a woman about these things, fam, and they get all cringed up and oh, I don't want to tell. And, and they start, listen, lady, you can't lie about these things, you know. A brother that is experienced, he already done know. He already done know by just the way you move that you've been around the block. You know what I mean? Because you got women out here, man, they have body counts in the hundreds, fam. 
That's crazy. You can't deal with a woman like that, bruh. A woman like that, you can't even have sex with, bruh. Like, it ain't even going, there ain't nothing there, fam. Like, she, she, she's done. She knows that already. That's why when you see these, these sisters, they, they be judging brothers based on their sexual performance. Like, what woman sit around judging a man based on his sexual performance? That's a woman that been all over the place to the point where she literally size up men. Imagine that, bro. You get around a woman and she's already sizing you up because she already done had all these different experiences. That's not the kind of woman you want on your team, bro. Real talk. And she knows that. She knows that. That's why they try to come to you acting like they angels because they don't want to diminish their value. They know that body count matters. They know that. Remember, the more intimate relations a woman have, the more DNA she took in from different men, which means that her spirit is corrupt. She has been compromised. Her computer has been compromised. Different men have planted different software on her computer. So if you try to install new software, there's no room on her hard drive. You see how that works, fam? Well, let's go. Problematic, okay? How she said that you're problematic. If you ask a woman about her body count, you're problematic. Why is it a problem? Why is it a problem of a man inquire about these things? Why? If, if I'm buying a car, and let's say the car is used, right? What's one of the first things you want to know as a buyer? As a buyer of a used car, if you are in the clouds, in the chat, and you buying a used car, y'all all know, what is, the, what is the number one question you ask when you're buying a used car? When you are buying a used car, what, what is the, what is, there you go, miles. How many miles is on this car? Mileage. That's the first thing you want to know. If you're, if you're going to buy a used, first of all, you already know the car is used. So it ain't like, it ain't like it's brand new. So we already done know modern women have already done been used. But as a buyer, as a potential buyer, I would at least like to know the mileage. I mean, can I get a witness? Ain't nothing wrong with that. See, what the modern woman is wanting to do is she wants to sell you the product and she don't want to tell you what the mileage is. I need to know how many miles is on your VJJ. I need to know that. That, that is very important to me. I need to know how, many, how much mileage is on your mouth. I need to know how much mileage is on your behind. I need to know how much mileage is on you so that I can properly decide if I want to invest. It, it, this is very serious because you know a woman's mouth can have more mileage than her vagina. <laughs> See, they don't like to talk about these things because, they, it, 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 you know, it makes them a little uncomfortable, but you weren't uncomfortable when you were using these particular body parts to pretty much, you know, uh, have your extracurricular activity. <laughs> right? So as a buyer, as a potential buyer, a potential client, right, I think inquiring about a woman's body count is very important, you know? Because what it says is, where you been? If I'm buying a used car, it's very important that I understand the details about the history of this car, the year, the model, how much mileage, what the interior look like, what the engine is looking like, is the brakes good, how's the tires doing? You know, there's things that you have to inquire. You don't just pull out your checkbook and just go with it. <laughs> but see, what modern women want to do is they want to put a bow on their body and just say, well, I look thick. You know, you got to come spend. Take me on a dinner date. First of all, fam, I'm not spending no money on none of you modern women. I'm just letting you know right now to all you ladies in the clouds, listen and hear me very well. I, Ringo TV, Raw Black Mill Advice TV would never take any of you ladies out on a dinner date ever in your life. I don't do that. No, we're not going to do that. I'm not a simp. I'm not a sucker. You're not going to take advantage of me. You can go to Pookie and Ray Ray or some simp for that. 
we're, we're not going to play those games here. Shout out to Sam for the super chat. Appreciate the support. I saw a trend on TikTok where women would grade the men they slept with out of 10. Wow. They show the picture of the man and grade them on their sex game. See, this is what I mean. So with the culture the way it is, why would any of you brothers want to wife up any of these women? <laughs> well, this, uh, listen, brothers, we're going to keep on sounding the alarm. Every time I do a show, I'm going to keep on reiterating this and, and uh, reposting and repeating uh, the same thing. You don't, mod you don't wife up any modern woman if she's not a virgin. If she's not a virgin, you don't make her a wife. No. No. You deal with modern women as concubines. That's how you deal with them. And you could deal with as many of them as you want. There's no restriction. A man can have more than one wife. Ladies, if you have a problem with that, stay by yourself and stay alone. <laughs> See, here on this platform, we're very, very thorough and bold, right? No woman controls me or my manhood. It's not going to happen that way. And you brothers must understand the same thing. You cannot have women out here trying to trap you in monogamy, talking about, oh, you can't be with no other woman but me. Are, are you serious? <laughs> are, are you kidding me? So let me get this straight. I got I to gotta live my whole life with you and put up with your BS. And I can't even talk to no other sister. If I do, I'm a cheater, right? <laughs> but yet you got modern women with two to five different baby daddies. <laughs> women on hot girl summer. <laughs> Body count is 390. <laughs> and you telling me I got to be monogamous to one woman? <laughs> All right, whatever you say. <laughs> okay, nah, it's not happening, fam. Anyway, let's get back into this. People you've slept with is none of anybody's business. It's not of anybody's business, but yet you worrying about how much money a man got? <laughs> I mean, look at that woman's face. <laughs> this woman is literally Miss Potato Head. <laughs> talking all this mess, and you're a Miss Potato Head. We got the fake lashes. <laughs> she got on the filter. <laughs> Lipstick. You know what I'm saying? A cake of makeup on. <laughs> I know that's not her hair. You know what I'm saying? Her teeth is like train tracks. Um, there's a lot of problems here. You know what I'm I'm not trying to judge anything. I'm really, I'm not. I I'm pretty sure there's a guy somewhere that will hit it. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it is what it is. But uh, I had to make that very clear because these women, they be, they be acting as if though they God's gift to the whole earth. <laughs> and by the way, that woman right there is a gold digger, fam. Like her entire TikTok is all based on gold digging. <laughs> That's pretty much what it's about. But uh, let's go back into the video and find out what's going on. And if anybody even asks you that, you take your little handbag and you walk away. You walk away because a guy asks you your body count? <laughs> really? So I, so I can't ask a woman this question, but she can ask me how much money I make. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that interesting, brothers? Isn't that interesting? Let me, let me, look. Look, check this out. Check this out. And make sure y'all get the likes up on the video. We got 135 in the building, only 67 likes. That don't look right, fam. <laughs> We got 137 in the building and only 67 likes. That's not looking right, fam. I'm going to have to stop and I'm going to have to start to preach on likes now. I mean, like we have 135 people and only 60 something likes. This is not looking good. We have to do better, fam. I'm here putting in work. The least thing you can do is click the like button. I'm giving you the game. I'm trying to show you what's happening. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to get this kind of content nowhere on YouTube. Remember, this is the best channel for reactionary videos. There's a lot of reaction channels out there, but none of them is as thorough, as detailed as Blackmail Advice TV. It's just that simple. <laughs> you already don't know what it is. You understand? 
I'm the reaction king is, is bottom line. <laughs> now, I got to make you understand some game so that you brothers can understand the real. The reason why modern women don't want to tell you their body count is because it reveal where they stand. It shows their true value. No different than when women hide their true age. You ask a sister, how old are you? You're not supposed to ask a woman her age. <laughs> what? What do you mean I'm not supposed to ask a woman her age? I want to know if you're at, at the stage of menopause. <laughs> you're talking about I'm not supposed to ask your age. What's your damn age? You're telling me about I'm not supposed to ask your age. Well, a, a real gentleman won't ask a woman. So let me get this straight. You want to act like you're a youngin', right? Fam, I could look at you, woman, and I can tell you probably 40-something. You're not fooling me. You know what I'm saying? So you got women, they don't want to tell you their age and they don't want to tell you about their body count. You know why? Age and body count go hand in hand. Because if their body, if their body count is high, they don't want you to know that because it's going to lower their value. And if they tell you they're 47 or they're 42, you know that that woman had over 20 something years in these streets. <laughs> so you know she was getting down. Oh yeah, she was getting down. In her 20s, she had hot girl summer during college, hot girl summer. In her 30s, hot girl summer, drinks, partying, BSing, flights to Dubai and all this other place, going to Cancun, Mexico and everywhere. <laughs> Take a trip to Jamaica. She was getting D in all different, different area codes, fam. <laughs> Y'all be thinking that the modern woman ain't getting D in different area codes. <laughs> oh, yeah, fam. Oh, yeah. Because that is a broke nigga. Really? So if he's... Asking you a body count, that means he's broke. Why? What does broke have to do with body count? You're trying to get his money, but you don't want to tell him your body count. So it automatic. So if a guy, so what if a guy with money asks you what's your body count? <laughs> so let me get this straight, man. Y'all all got these high body counts, and y'all ashamed about it. I thought y'all supposed to be liberated, proud, and free. Uh, what, whatever happened to uh, P-U-S-S-Y power? <laughs> Why y'all ashamed? Why are you ashamed? Just tell a brother what it is. I don't understand this, fam. It's broke nigga, nigga talk. And you guys know we are used to the broke nigga talk here. We know how they speak. We know you guys are all the same. You are androids. Androids? We're androids, really? <laughs> is that supposed to be some sort of offensive word to call a black man? He's an android, really? I don't know. Maybe somebody could explain that one to me. Guys, ladies, any man who asks you this, what is your body count? Any man who asks you this is firstly broke. Secondly, they're insecure. Thirdly, they are manipulative because they want to get... Aren't you manipulating guys by hiding your body count? <laughs> Aren't you hiding that? You're, you're manipulating men by avoiding telling the man what he needs to know. <laughs> Come on, fam. He want to know. Oh, y'all think this is crazy? Y'all ain't seen nothing know yet. Know how many people you've slept with so that they can... Knowing how many men was in your mouth is very important, fam. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to be talking about... Oh, see, here's the thing, fam. You brothers don't want to be taking some woman down the aisle talking about, you know, you marrying her and whatnot. You get by the altar and the so-called preachers like, uh, Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, amen. Uh, so, young man... Uh, do you take this lawful woman, this beautiful sister to be your, your wife? Yeah. Well, your honor, you know, I've been in the Christian church all my life and I certainly do, your honor. You know, I've been, I've been praising God. I've been praising Jesus all my life. I've been celibate. Well, uh, do you, do, would you really want to take her for your wife? Okay, young man, okay, okay, you want to take her as your wife. Is there anyone in here in the church that would, I guess, have anything to say at the joining of this man and woman in holy matrimony? Speak now or forever hold your peace. And you got like 80 guys in the congregation. And everybody stand up. Hey, yo, bro, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, bro, don't do it. <laughs> and you turn around like you get, they give you the microphone and whatnot. 
Uh, hey, yo, bro, on the left, what, why, why, what's, what are you doing? You hating on me, fam? You don't want me to get married? <laughs> nah, it's not that, bro. Yo, she was giving me head last night, bro. <laughs> what? what? You, 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 are you serious, bro? Yeah, man, she was giving me some good old head, man. Yeah. What? <laughs> All right, fam. Yo, you, you, you over there in the corner, man. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know if this dude is trolling or what, but. What do you got to say about this, that you're, object, you're objecting my wedding right here with this fine sister? <laughs> hey, yo, fam, man, I'm just trying to, trying to look out for you, brother. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Just the other day, you know what I'm saying? She was at my crib. <laughs> hey, yo, uh, the old guy over there, I don't know. Is that old? I don't know why that old guy in the corner. He over there, old old time over there. What do you what do you got to say in in response to the <laughs> the well well said? <laughs> you may not know me, but I go by the name Pastor. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Your fiance was in my bed. Yes, indeed. Your fiance was in my bed, and I certainly. Give her the work of God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Uh, son, do you want to take her as your wife or not? Because you know I got to go get me a drink now. <laughs> Don't do it, son. Don't do it because she going to be in my bed later on. Because, you know, as an 85-year-old man, I've been pastoring the church for a long time. <laughs> yes, sir. Amen. Amen, I say. Get on with the wedding ceremony. You ain't going to marry that woman, bro. You not going to marry her at all. You know? Because that body count is too high, fam. Use it as leverage to either treat you as cheap. Why would... To, well, hold on, hold on. He's going to use it as leverage to treat you as cheap? But you are cheap. Because if all of those guys got a piece of your tail, 300 guys, that mean you cheap. Real talk. <laughs> I'm not trying to cheapen you. You know? You cheapen yourself. Or treat you as less than. Treating you less than. Listen, lady, if your legs is open and parted like the Red Sea that Moses and them went through. <laughs> that's your problem, fam. Or downplay your value. Your value has already done been downplay. <laughs> all of those guys got stories on you. You know what I'm saying? They know all the things that they did to you. So you already done downplay your value. Okay, the only reason men ask this is to scale you and weigh your value. Well, if I'm buying a used car, I want to know how much mileage it have <laughs> before I spend any money. Because I'll be damned if I'm going to spend some money and I get this damn car and it's a lemon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want that mess now. You know? And only broke men ask that. Okay. Oh, so I have to be broke. Oh, okay, I get it. Let's hear what the modern man have to say about this one. Let me see if I can pull this one up. Let me see. Ladies, no matter how many dudes you let hit, whenever a man asks you what your body count is, you better tell him two. What? Tell him two. See, dudes use the body count to determine how easy a female is. And once they realize <laughs> that the number is high, they have already told themselves that this is going to be easy. You see what we got to go through, fam? We got simps out here that are telling women <laughs> to lie about their body count. <laughs> you can't make this up, fam. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. You can't make this up, bro. This dude is telling women to lie about their body count. Not realizing that this dude is manipulating women right now. So when the woman said that these guys are manipulating... That's the guy that she's talking about. He's manipulating these women. Let's hear that mess from the top. Ladies, no matter how many dudes you let hit, whenever a man asks you what your body count is, you better tell him too. So he better tell the women too. Why not more than that? 
Why? Look at his face. You could tell he's a manipulator. That dude been manipulating women for a long time. See, only time you got guys like this, they be the biggest manipulators. Telling women what they want to hear, pandering. They're panda bears. Those are them panda bear guys. Tell them too. See, dudes use the body count to determine how easy a female is. And once they... Re- to, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second, fam. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> you telling me that guys would ask a woman about her body count, right? And use that to determine how easy she is? <laughs> are you kidding me? I, I doubt that, fam. Nope. That's not what it is, fam. Mm-mm. No, that, that's not the case, fam. But listen to this clown again, because this is crazy. I, I can't believe he said that. See, dudes use the body count to determine how easy a female is. And once they realize that the number is high, they have already told themselves that this is going to be easy. Really? That this is going to be easy? You mean easy for me to go my way? <laughs> that's, what, that's the easy that you're talking about. It's going to be an easy decision. <laughs> It's going to be an easy, easy decision for me to walk off the car lot. Because I am not buying that automobile or that hoopty, I should say, when that mileage is high as hell. I'm not buying that mess. Get out of here. Who is this clown? Whose man's is this? Um, Shout out to uh, what's that guy named? Something K something. Kev Chev Kev Chev. Uh, <laughs> I don't know his name, man. Whose man is this? <laughs> blood clot. <laughs> what a blood clot. <laughs> you know? But whose man is this, though? This dude is tripping. You know what I'm saying? He's literally telling women to go out there and lie about their body count. What, what is this dude? Is he working with that other woman? <laughs> I think he's working with that other lady, fam. I think it is. Yeah, I think he's working with her. It's going to be easy to clap the cheeks, and therefore, I don't have to put in much effort. Really? So it's going to be easy to clap the cheeks, and that means that we don't have to put in much effort if she have a high body count? Is that what you're saying? Why would a man be so interested in clapping the cheeks of a woman that got a body count of 300? Why? So, so you brothers be ready to clap them cheeks raw, right? And then when y'all get a, a STD, y'all want to be on, on, on YouTube crying. <laughs> she gave me an STD. <laughs> uh, don't cry. Dry your eyes. I don't have to come correct, so to speak. You oh. don't have to come correct? You mean, because <laughs> that's what you want to do. You want to come. <laughs> Let's just make it, you know, 100. See, that guy right there is a manipulator. About, it means that we don't have to come correct. Um, so, telling them to is your way of ensuring that they still put their best foot forward. Really? So, so you're telling modern women to tell brothers that their body count is two, right? And that will increase their odds of the guy putting their best foot forward to get the same vagina that everybody else got. <laughs> really? So, so, this is, so these are the kind of simps that we have out here. We have guys that teach women to lie about their body count. So brothers, now you know. Now you understand the game. When you get with a sister, right, and you ask her, hey sister, you know, like, what's your, what's your body count? <laughs> Oh, my body count. Oh, it's just two. Two? So you, so hold up. You lying to me, sis. I'm not lying to you. Listen, I saw this dude on Ringo's channel, Black Mill Advice TV, and the dude said that women should say two. You was listening to his video. That's why you lying to me. I'm not lying to you. My body count is two. I'm a Christian. You ain't no Christian. You better stop lying, girl. I am a Christian. Well, why you ain't a virgin? Because, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, I'm a spiritual virgin. 
spiritual virgin. Ain't no damn spiritual virgins in the Bible. You lying. You know what I'm saying? See, because even though you have let, let's say, 60, 70 guys hit. That what? 60 and 70 guys hit? What? <laughs> what? Bruh. So this is what you ladies be doing out here, fam? 60 and 70 guys had you in, in your bed already, fam? Yeah, I don't see how could women put themselves in a situation like that and think that brothers are supposed to marry them later on. <laughs> so, this is why I keep telling you brothers, man. Y'all trying to wife up these women, fam. That whole thing is done, fam. I ain't never teaching you brothers to wife up any modern women again. You know what I'm saying? It was fun while it lasted, but I'm not doing that no more. The only women that are wife material are virgin women. Everybody else is concubines of that. Concubines, period. It is what it is. It's not going to stop me from wanting to uh, be 61 or 101. But what it does is it, for some strange reason, tells me that I can't take you serious, which is, it's BS. It really is BS. It's BS because you're Pookie and Ray Ray, fam. <laughs> you're manipulating women. You're a traitor, bruh. You're a traitor. You working for the enemy, fam. So, again, tell them to. Tell them to. Wow. Ladies, no matter how many dudes you let hit, whenever a man asks you what your body count is, you better tell him to. You better tell him to. Isn't this interesting, fam, that this guy is basically saying that women need to tell the guy to. Two is the lucky number. Ladies, any man who asks you this, what is your body count? Any man who asks you this is firstly broke. He's broke? Interesting. So he's just broke, right? Tell him to. Tell him to. <laughs> this is funny, fam. This is really funny. Secondly, they're insecure. Thirdly, they are manipulative. They're manipulative. See, dudes use the body count to determine how easy a female is. And once they realize that the number is high, they have already told themselves that this... It's going to be easy. So it's going to be easy. So if I follow this guy's advice, it's going to be easy. <laughs> but if I follow her advice, that means that I'm broke. Because they want to get to know how many people you've slept with so that they can use it as leverage to either treat you as cheap. To treat you as cheap. Or treat you as a less than. Less than. Or downplay your value. But you don't have no value, though. It's going to be easy to clap the cheeks. It's going to be easy to clap them cheeks. Okay, cool. Okay, the only reason men ask this is to scale you and weigh your value. To weigh your value. All right, cool, cool. And therefore, I don't have to put in much effort. So oh, I don't have to put in much effort if she have a high body count. <laughs> but I'm broke at the same time. <laughs> but it's easy to clap the cheeks. Okay. I don't have to come correct, so to speak. So I don't have to come correct, even though I would like to come. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I, I get it, I get it. And only broke men ask that, okay? So only broke men ask that. All right, all right. Um, so telling them to is your way of ensuring that they still put their best foot forward. So you want, all right, so bro, so you're saying that if the woman should say that she got two and it's going to make me automatically put my best foot forward. Even though I'm broke, right? Okay. All right, cool. Unless the person is a killer, I don't... No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't know about that, but... See how many body counts, da, 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 da. Men who ask this are broke. Okay, all right. So they're broke if they ask Manipulative. It. Manipulative. It... All right, they're manipulative. Let me hear what he got to say. See, because even though you have let, let's say, 60, 70 guys hit, that's not going to stop me from wanting to... Uh, B61 or So you're a hypocrite That's what you're basically saying You're a hypocrite <laughs> So you know she had all of those bodies And you still want to hit bro But you trying to give me advice But she just said that Guys that are worried about body counts Are manipulative But aren't you manipulating her too <laughs> 101 But what it does is it For some strange reason tells me that I can't take you serious So you you know, bro, that you can't take the woman serious, but yet you trying to crap on us brothers. <laughs> really? You trying to help the women to have a low body count, but at the same time, you know these men ain't going to take them serious. You're a hypocrite, bro. Secure and problematic. So 
I'm insecure and problematic if I want to inquire about your body count. Okay, that sounds interesting. Which is, it's BS. It really is BS. It is BS what she just said. Total BS. <laughs> so, again, tell them to. Tell them to. Okay, tell them to. What do you got to say, sister? Okay, how many people you've slept with is none of anybody's business. So it's none of anybody's business. Wow. Can't make this up, fam. You can't make this up. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy, fam. This is the world we live in. This is the world we live in. Shout out to Rallo for the five on the cash app. This is crazy, fam. She has B-Wolf, Beowulf, uh, nails. Men must hit the, wait, the nail. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me start from the top. She has B-Wolf, nails. Men must hit the nail fetish. We are all, wait, we are, I'm such in a, what? Yo, Rallo, man, fam, come on. I don't know what's going on here. Let me, I'm going to try to do this again, fam. She has B-Wolf nails. Men must hit the nail. Men must hit the nail fetish. We are, I'm such in a time such as never before. Fam, I am totally confused right now. I'm serious, bro. <laughs> I don't know what went wrong with your comment, bro. You may want to type that out inside of the, the comments so I can probably read that again because I don't know wh what happened there. I, Be Wolf is a movie. I know that. <laughs> Nail, I don't know what was what happened there. Time, I, I, I'm confused right now. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know what was said right there. Real talk. I, you have to explain that one again. I know Be Wolf. I know the name. I understand the movie. I understand that. I just don't understand what was really said right there. So it needs to be explained again so I can read it out properly. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy, man. So so you can't ask a modern woman about her, her body count, fam. If you do that, she's going to get upset. And you know what's so interesting is this? Guys that just want to pump and dump, they're not asking about no body count. So if you're asking a woman about her body count, she figured you want to take her serious. That's what's going to get her upset because she know that she ain't ish. You understand? Um, it is what it says. Uh, it says, look at my comment laughing out loud. I recorded, I recorded my comment laughing out loud. Oh, all right. Um, well, I can't look at it right now because I'm live. <laughs> I can't look at it right now because I'm live, but uh, I guess uh, who who cares, fam? We'll we'll sort it out. We'll sort it out, fam. <laughs> we'll sort it out, fam. We live, bro. We live. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, there was a, a time when I went live, right? And for whatever reason, I was on YouTube. I went live. I set up my equipment and I went live, and I thought I was live, and I made a crazy mistake during the stream. But it wasn't public. For some odd reason, I had my live. It was, it was set on private. I never put it public. <laughs> Yo, when that happened, when that happened, <laughs> when that happened, I was like, oh, snap. Yo, this was stream live. <laughs> Yo, I'm done. I'm finished. <laughs> YouTube career is over. <laughs> what in the world? I'm like... Yo, and then when I look, it said private. I was like, <laughs> I was like saved by the bell, yo. Man, yo, when you go live, you really got to watch out, fam. You got to watch out, man. I'm telling you, man. There have been times on YouTube where people got went live, and there was this one woman, she went live, and she left her camera on by mistake, and she went and took a shower and came back into the frame naked, yo, right on YouTube, bro. <laughs> Right on YouTube, man. I remember that day, fam. She screamed. She shut off the camera. Everybody was taking the clips. They were reposting it. Many people channels was getting banned because, <laughs> yo, it was crazy. That was like, you know, that was like about a good six or seven years back, fam. <laughs> crazy, bro. But anyway, man, yo, this is crazy out here. You can't even ask modern women about their body count because... You know, they upset and stuff. You got another brother. He he teaching the women to lie. 
so see what we got? We got gold diggers and we got simps messing up the game. Gold diggers and simps. They're all messing up the game. You know? Wait, let me see what... Let me see what Rollo said. Let me see. Where's the comment? Where'd the comment go? Comment was just there. All right. Rollo says she has B-Wolf nails. Most men have a, uh, I guess, a, what is that? S, a sex fetish or for nails. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, they, they do. But uh, I don't know what kind of nails she have. Those are not even, those are claws. <laughs> Can't do nothing with that right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Her nails look horrible, man. That That's wild, fam. Uh, but I don't know. It's like guys have to start telling women that stuff don't look right, fam. A lot of y'all, y'all be just like seeing women and y'all just kind of complimenting them. Nah, you got to pull up. When a woman is talking and she's coming around you, her nails is crazy, crazy weave and, you know, these these propeller eyelashes, you know, you got to tell her, yo, take that crap off, fam. What? Take that stuff off. You look crazy, bro. You don't like it? No, I don't. Don't, don't ever come around me looking like that, bro. I don't want to see that mess. Looking all crazy. You embarrassing me. You know what I mean? It's real talk, man. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to get up on out of here, man. You know how we is, man. Had to come through with another stream. We'll be back on later. You already done know what it is, man. Blackmail Advice TV. It is what it is. You already done know. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, bruh. It's Blackmail Advice TV. We in the building. It is what it is. Oh, I got to give a shout out. Give a shout out to Derek. Shout out to Derek for the 25, for the 25 on the cash app. Shout out to Derek for the 25 on the cash app. Appreciate your support. Yeah, so uh, we'll be back later on with another stream. We're going to do about three more later on. So y'all look out for that. Blackmail Advice TV. We out, fam. Peace. If you like our content, Consider supporting via Cash App at dollar sign Ringo TV Raw. Become a patron on Patreon.com for exclusive video content not shown on YouTube. You could also support through PayPal at paypal.me slash Ringo TV Raw. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified of new content. Follow me on Instagram at Ringo TV Raw. This is Black Mail Advice TV, the only channel on YouTube bringing you the truth, 100% truth.